next let me turn to you, Jean, Jean uh, Camars. Please thank you. have the floor. Uh, thank you, Michel. Uh, what are the lessons uh, learned in this COVID crisis, which is certainly not over? And what can we say about global governance from these lessons? Uh, first lesson, as uh, Juliette just said, uh, health is strategic. It doesn't mean it's important or very important. It means uh, it should be treated like uh, a military topic, meaning you have to invest in health well in advance. Uh, to, to face a crisis. It's not when the crisis occurs that you check your stocks of masks, that you discover that your uh, supply chain is based in China. And I have noticed that possibly uh, there was a crisis with China too. So uh, if health is strategic, it means that governments should overinvest in health to make sure that uh, they have the right equipment, they have the right drugs, they have secured their supply chain, and it should be done uh, permanently. It should be a, a topic of national interest, like we have oil stocks, three months, as I remember. Uh, we should have health stocks of drugs, devices, equipments. Uh, and know how to operate uh, these stocks. And we should also invest in people, uh, because if you don't have the, the people uh, to staff the ICU beds, it's just like you don't have uh, any ICU beds. Uh, if this is understood by governments, it will have an impact on the cost of health, because it means that you invest for a peak, for a crisis, and you do not treat health as a commodity that you will uh, buy uh, uh, whenever you need it. And health is already over expensive. I mean, in, in terms of a percentage of the GDP, my guess is that it will cost more in the future because we will pay more as the doctors, we will pay more as the nurses, uh, we will pay more for drugs because we will ask the pharmaceutical industry to relocate. Uh, to uh, new countries. Is it good for uh, international governance? I'm not sure, because it is a dilemma of the prisoners. They should cooperate, but as long as they do not trust the others, they will not cooperate. This is a sort of a pessimistic view uh, that I have today, but nothing prevents uh, to, to, to change this. Uh, through a heavy work of an uh, international organization to create trust between nations. Now, it's not only trust between nations, it is also what we have uh, seen in this crisis, is doctors not trusting doctors, uh, population not trusting their governments. Uh, and uh, this is a huge issue because when we will have found, uh, as Christian said, the right vaccines, the right treatments, if doctors or the population do not believe that it can be used, we will not uh, solve the crisis. How do we build trust uh, in the 21st century, in the time of uh, metaverse, as it was explained? I don't think you build trust in a avoiding the social networks, in uh, reacting to the social networks. Uh, you build trust in investing the social networks. This is also a big lesson. How many of us are followers of the uh, WHO or uh, the French Ministry of Health? Do they only have a, a, an account on uh, Instagram? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Or on YouTube, maybe, but they should. Uh, and, and I'm not uh, 14 years old when I say that. I just see that the main source of information of people, not only young people in the world, uh, is not their parents or their governments or the TV news. It is uh, the social networks. This is the second lesson. We don't do enough uh, to be trusted on the social networks. 
The last lesson is about big data. Uh, you have one uh, consistent move uh, from countries, which is to protect their data, to see it on their medical data like on golden eggs. And it is very good for, um, let's say, privacy reasons. Of course, you must protect the people and you must protect their medical data. But there is a power of big data in uh, facing crises like COVID, which is underused, in my opinion. In fact, you should at the same time protect privacy, but share massively medical data, not only uh, results of research. Medical institutions, of course, share the results. But could they share the data? Could they share the raw data to melt it in big data pool so that people can uh, work on it and more rapidly uh, work on evidence-based medicine? In my opinion, this is a massive field of international cooperation because, of course, I don't think we want uh, Google or Microsoft uh, to, to, to do this instead of governments because this is what they will do if nobody does it. These are the, lesson, the lessons, personally, I have learned in this crisis. Thank you very much, Jean. I think you, you stressed th three things. One is the need for anticipation. The second is uh, you emphasized the complexity of behind trust and the relationship between the decision maker, the science, the public opinion. And third, uh, this issue, which I agree is critical, of sharing data, pulling data together. Basically, you're, you're saying we need a global CDC um, in our terminology, and that should be the role of a strengthened WHO to me uh, in the future. Thank you. Um, so